Greetings, landlubbers, and welcome to the K-Wings Let's Plays channel, you surface dwellers. It's time for us to look at a very interesting, I don't want to say cool, Ooh. it's an interesting underwater game DC featuring game. the DC hero. Batman with his rebreather thing? No. But that would be cool. Uh, I, I would... Nemo? No, it's Aquaman, the <laughs> battle for Atlantis, Ooh. which released in 2003, the same year as the terrible Batman Dark Tomorrow game. And this game is hey. playable. So anyway, we're doing awesome. this game to hype up the new Aquaman movie that is coming out tomorrow. So make sure you guys like that button using your aquatic Aquaman telepath abilities. Use your flipper. And in the comment section below, tell us your favorite movie that Aquaman is in. Yay! Hopefully you have one. We have one. It's called The Throne of Atlantis, which is a great movie. It is time. At last, dear brother, the true king of Atlantis will be revealed. <laughs> I'm guessing that's Ocean Master. Ooh, and a sandcastle. Well, because DC was uh, too cheap to do cutscenes. Wow, Luke, you're like totally hating on DC right now. Only a little. This should have been a full motion sandcastle. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> My liege. I'm gonna go with a... Heroic music. Oh, there we go. My liege. Something, something is coming. Wow. Yeah, your mustache. Calm yourself, Foco. What are you talking about? The premonition, sire. Danger, destruction, Atlantis, and ruins! Dun dun dun! Are you certain what you saw will come to pass? Wow. Most certain, sire, my lord. I've seen the horror, the terror, all of Atlantis is in great danger! Senpai. From what? Exactly. Well, it's got such a deep voice there. Invasion! <laughs> oh my gosh! We're all gonna die! <laughs> that one guy. My liege, we are under attack! Would they be a From oh. who? Unknown, sire. I don't know. Tons Pink of guys, guys running around freaking out. There's just Alert one guy. our forces. The invaders will answer to me. Sire! Or is a that guy. more like sire? I don't know. Stay here! William Defoe, I am going to find out who's attacking the city. That Volk guy. Yeah, William looks Defoe. Like, oh. It's the king. We're saved. They came out of nowhere, ambushed us. Get to the shelter. I'll handle this. Oh, so Little Mermaid. Wait, no, it's a guy. Mission one: disturbing developments. I could totally see Jason Momoa playing this game. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. I want Jason Momoa to play this game now. No, yeah, we want to see. My man! <laughs> yep. This looks like uh, Jason Momoa, yeah, except without the, the hook hand. Yeah, he's got the long hair. Yep. yep. Rescue eight Atlantean citizens. This isn't so bad so far. We got a little pointy thing telling us where we're supposed to go. It's all good. Oh, so we just swim through Atlantis? Well, I mean, sci fi underwater city more than Atlantis. <laughs> Okay, that's the punch button. That's fun. Block. Right, so, so far we're punching and... A little bit of knee action there. We're kneeing people. Hey, give me back that citizen. He has to pay taxes. Ha ha! Knee to the face. Oh my gosh. It would be so hard to do oh. underwater combat like this. Yeah, wouldn't it be like... It'd be like oh. <laughs> slow, slow motion shit. punches. <laughs> yeah, but he has like super strength, so maybe he can punch faster because he's Atlantean, but anybody else would be like... <laughs> <laughs> Could you really punch somebody underwater though? It'd be, It'd like, be really hard. There's like so yeah. much force. Then you get hit and it's like. <laughs> but you really wouldn't get hit because it would just gently push you. Wait, away. wait, wait, wait. If this is Black Mana's men, they're literally men. How are they able to punch so quickly under the water? Is it because of the jetpacks they have on? I know. It doesn't make any sense. Aquaman would be like, yeah, I'm Atlantean. I can easily do this. Also, Ooh. like, there are mermen and then there's <laughs> Aquaman. Thank you so much for saving me. Bye bye. I'm a mer person. So, wait, so his people aren't mer people. I have no idea. Well, I mean, he always says unite the seven in the comics. So Atlantis is just one of seven underwater nations. So maybe the mer people are another nation? Yes, and I expect Sebastian the Crab. I don't remember how to do his voice, but he has his own kingdom. The somewhere. crab people are another. Triton's hanging out somewhere. 
Triton. Yeah. Give me back my merman! Okay, that's... There it goes. Yeah, this that looks weird. Aha! Eat... Feet and fins? Wait, fin. I think I like this Aquaman because he's all about the hair. And it's the extreme 90s Aquaman! <laughs> with a I hook like, hand! I like how they have him, like, his hair is just waving. In, not in the wind, but in the water. Water wind. It looks good. It's interesting. I feel like they did a really good job with the mechanics of it, his hair. So, do you remember how uh, Skywalker uh, Aquaman, like, came to be? A little uh, bit? Yeah, he had to save, like, his wife and child or something like that. Very close. He and had to he had save to, uh, his like, uh, son from Orm, and he was given a cho uh, choice between Luke skywalker his hand or letting his baby son drown, which is weird because they can breathe underwater. I never understood that. Yeah, I, that's weird. Also, like, Aquaman is more like Rambo than Luke Skywalker. Because... There it is! Oh my gosh! I can use my fish-talking powers to send a dolphin to ram people in the face. Yeah, and I brought Worth my it. attack dolphin with a built-in force field. I think the name of the dolphin is Flipper. No, wait, no, that can't be right. Flipper! See, in the 60s, Aquaman had a uh, dolphin sidekick. In He also rode on a pink wow. seahorse for whatever reason. Okay, can't go that way. Good to know. You know, they say that dolphins can become very vicious in packs. Well, that's why he summons them. Although his telepathy isn't really to talk to fish. It's more like to tell the fish what to do. Fish, I attack! I don't agree with that. I feel like Aquaman is supposed to have a relationship with fish and no, a friendship. No, no, he's not. The 90s Aquaman explained it. He was like, how dare you? I don't talk to fish. I command them. 90s! <laughs> oh my gosh. But why would they all listen to him? That's because he's he has... a higher being? Well, I would listen to a dude with no shirt and a hook hand. <laughs> I mean, I'd be worried that he might suddenly eat me or something. But the thing is, Aquaman is more hardcore than anyone else. I mean, Rambo was able to solder Yay! his wounds with gunpowder by having it blast in his wound. But, like, Aquaman was so hardcore... He didn't just have somebody else lightsaber his hand off, which would have taken two seconds. He literally sat there and had to cut off his hand. No, he did it in one blow. Oh, really? His son was... But they he were, did they it to falling. himself. He yeah. did it to himself. How many people would have... Don't the, How many people would have the guts to do that to themselves? Well, he had to save his son. I remember now. They were falling into an underwater <laughs> volcano, which is... Kind of weird, but he's like, save the baby, lose the hand. Save the baby, and he's like, yeah! And then he's back, and oh he's gosh. like, where's Orm? Oh and his wife's just gosh. like, my husband is a man with a missing hand. I know. That would be like... And I... that's how Aqua Boy 2 was made. <laughs> oh my gosh. Luke, if you, if you cut off your own hand to save our child, like... You would never have to work again. That would be the that would be the manliest thing you could ever do. Like I'll be right back. No. <laughs> ow! 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 My face! How dare you! I am an Atlantean model. You think <laughs> this is what happens? I mean, with he the, uh, surface he got brownie points for a lifetime by cutting his hand off. If you yep. think about it, because he saved his child with me. I kind of missed the hook hand because he had like a grappling hook was installed. They were like, "What? What else can we do with this hand?" Now that it's no longer just a regular hand, <laughs> yeah. what what can we do to make Aquaman cooler? Make it a blender. Grappling hook! <laughs> yeah. It also has, uh, like, electricity powers. Oh my god! It, it kind of, like, doubled for his trident. I really don't like how he looks with it, but I think it's so awesome that he, hit, that he had the presence of mind to cut his hand off. I wish that somehow he could regrow it with his Aquaman powers. He gets a water hand, which uh. is weird. Uh, it's like a magic water hand because they were like, you know what? We're past the 90s hook era. So uh, we're pretty yeah. much every superhero was like super beefed up and given like extreme makeovers. Uh, yeah. So Aquaman gets a shirt again. <laughs> although it's like a half open shirt. So it's a, uh, yeah. a little edgy, not, not too much. He can't wear too much of a shirt because he's Aquaman. He's got to show off the muscles somehow. Hey, Shadow. And uh, he gets, like, this magic water hand that... You know how his wife has uh, water, water kinesis so she yeah, can do stuff yeah, with water? Yeah. So his magic hand was yeah. magic. It could do spells and, like, he could throw water at people and, you know, 
pretty much all the cool powers we've seen Aquaman do uh, in the new 52. It was pre-52, but because of the magic water hand. But then after the new 52, it's he just has water kinesis as well for reasons. Mm. Yeah. Usually only his sidekick Tempest or Aqualad had magic powers, which he learned from Mira. Yeah, That's that right, makes Shadow. Sense. Okay, that A is not doing anything. Do you remember? A is for Aquaman. What does the A stand for on Aquaman's belt? Do you remember? Mm, Atlantis. There you go. That is it. I was gonna say Aquaman, but I Aquaman's heard. outrageous I adventures. That. Aha! I have a tale for you. He should have an O on his belt standing for outrageous. That would be cool. But no, this Aquaman wasn't very funny. Like, he was super edgy. <laughs> I like I like the other Aquaman in Brave and the Bold because he would always tell stories to the point where people didn't want to be around him. Today is a tale of how I <laughs> saved the Atlanteans from the fish invasion. Man. And he tells tales about himself. That's yeah, the funny kinda, thing. He does. Because usually he would tell tales about a hero like other than yourself, but he like only talks about himself oh, all the time. I am sorry, citizen. I may have missed you. He's like the starring character in all of his stories. Swimming is kind of hard in this. It's like, not Superman 64 bad. Dolphin attack! Bye bye Dolphins are freaky. Sire, please don't hit me with a dolphin. I'll vote for you next time. Oh we God. are not a republic. We are a dictatorship. Oh. My liege, how may we assist you? Collect the prisoners. Please inform the troops Black Manta has returned. Dun, dun, dun! Maybe I need to sound like Jason Momoa or something. Yeah. Are you sure it was him? I thought he was dead. Dun. No, he's alive. I would know his men anywhere. There's Jason Momoa a little bit. Yeah, a little, little bit. Strange, this doesn't seem to be Black Manta's usual strategy. Why would he attack us thusly? Given the history, Manta hardly needs a reason. You have the captured soldiers? Have they said anything? Nah, that doesn't work. Yeah, I like his original voice. They refuse to speak. Make them. It won't be long before Manta returns. Whoa. Little Warcraft voice there, for good measure. Neptune's yeah. Reckoning. Yes, me lord. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Outrageous. Uh, X-A-A-X. -A -A that looks like a cool combo, but I don't think I'll be able to pull that off very well. I don't know, Luke. You better memorize that right, right well, now. Well, this game in Dark Tomorrow was, like, very combo heavy, and you would have to input a certain amount of buttons after pressing in the L or the R button to do a super combo. It was uh. kind of annoying. The first stage of our operation has proceeded as planned. We have tested the city's defenses and found them lacking. Whoa. It is time to strike with more force. It is time to claim the treasures of Atlantis. Aquaman. This time, you will fall. Whoa. It's well, Optimus Prime. You're actually freaking me out. Yeah. Increase the patrols. I want the entire city on alert. Your Majesty, Black Manta and his men have returned. The research center is under attack. Black Manta won't hit just one target. Double the patrols. I want Atlantis protected at all costs. I'll deal with that situation at the research center myself. As you command, sire. Guards! Follow me. That guy looks like someone from Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of does. <laughs> Meanwhile, at that weird science lab underwater, it's the king. Destroy him. Destroy him. Mission two. Trouble boiling. You need to have like a question. Mark. Yata two. Protect the sciency towers. Oh, I mean science towers. Sciency. <laughs> Aquaman has no need for whatever. My man! Let's take down Black Manta! Yahoo! I, I don't remember his one-liners. He needs to say outrageous in the movie. If he doesn't, that is when I'm gonna walk away from the film and be like, they had one job! One! I it, thought he did say outrageous as his Lego figure, and then that, unless that wasn't him. I don't know, but I just threw a shark at people. Whoa, that was shark. Yep, so apparently we retired the dolphin. When can I start, like, throwing uh, swordfish at people? From the oh M-rated game. Oh my gosh, swordfish. <laughs> uh, That's terrible. I demand sharks with freaking lasers on their heads. You know what would be also very, like, deadly, but not, like, people don't really know? But, like, a manta ray. Ooh. 
Well, I mean that that little that little spike that manta rays. But that's have. basically what black mana is. He's supposed to be a manta ray, which is uh, you know like a predator of the ocean or whatever. Yeah, it's one of the yeah. most deadly creatures because it has that little. Oh come on! It has a little barb, little spike under it that most people don't know about. It's supposed to be one of the most painful ways to get hurt or like basically killed. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing about this game, aside from the Rock'em Sock'em underwater Atlantis slow punches... Yeah? We have a grappling hook, right? I think so. Yeah, we do. We can't use it in combat. So uh... Aquaman is a sitting duck with all these guys, you know, fighting me Dragon Ball Z style. It's like, should we attack him all at once? Yeah, exactly. It is Dragon Ball Z Surround and destroy style. him! One yeah. at a time! Except for with less talking, because they're not really doing a dialogue, but, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, they don't really have anything to say. They gotta concentrate on punching... I don't know, they they really didn't think this through. There's not even any sound effects as, like, these guys are being mercilessly beated, and yeah. Aquaman is getting repeatedly punched. That is awesome! What is that? That was cool. I don't know how I did that. I, I was pressing weird buttons, and this thing just suddenly happened. That was awesome. I'm not sure either, actually. But usually, even in Batman Dark Tomorrow, when Batman gets punched, he goes, Ugh! Ah! Ugh! Aquaman gets yeah. punched in the face repeatedly. <laughs> you just... Nothing. It's just... Punch! Punch! <laughs> Luke, after cutting your own hand off. Ugh! Ugh! He's immune to pain. I mean, this guy is so hardcore. 90s! He's so hardcore, it's just like... <laughs> you punch him in the stomach. Shark and he, power! And, and he's Say you punch him and he's bruised all over. He just doesn't even flinch. He's just like, mm, whatevs. <laughs> like, they also, they could have added like a little bit of fan service right there. When he calls in his like water kinesis or telekinesis, whatever, it doesn't have that. I know. It doesn't have that. Sound. They even made fun of that sound effect in the Justice League episode, like where Aquaman's not a member of the team, but I'm, oh. I'm talking, you know, he summons something with his aquatic powers. Yeah. They, they had a similar sound effect to the Super Friends, even though it was oh, a wow. very edgy show. That's funny. Okay, this is a new enemy type. I don't like him. Uh, I don't like Ow, him either. Oh. How dare you hit the King of Atlantis? I'll show you, Knave. Aha! Take that! Oh, Punches that... and knee kicks. Knee kicks and punches. Wait, wait, wait. They have eye lasers, so they'll they'll shoot with their eye lasers, but when it comes time to fight me, they're like, we have all this technology to defeat Aquaman. We're just going to punch him. Yeah! We're in the 90s, and that's what we do. Well, this is a 2003 game, but... We're in the 2000s. Yeah! Shark attack. Dragging the dude by his legs. Oh, yeah, savage. It is. It's kind of disturbing right there. Um, that glowing red guy looks like somebody from Tron. <laughs> Eat shark, fool! <laughs> I mean, it, it kind of sounds... No, it doesn't sound... It's just like... I don't know. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just being a bit picky. No, I remember that sound <laughs> effect. In fact, I was thinking about that, but I couldn't really describe Ma it. It was like something's missing. Something's missing. You mean missing. Batman making fun of Aquaman for... You know, not being able to help unless there's water nearby. Wow. Yeah, he used to do that. Everybody used to do that, actually. Aquaman was the butt of every comic book. Yeah, but man. Aquaman is part Atlantean. You make fun of him, you make fun you of. You can't all make people. fun of Aquaman anymore after Jason and Moa. Uh, Aquaman is gonna be like. Really? They almost kind of like how Marvel kind of gave dignity to Hawkeye for a little bit. Yeah. A little bit? A little bit. Aquaman's gonna get a lot more dignity than Hawkeye. Yeah, and, um, I mean, people are gonna think... I mean, <laughs> I'm sure people think Black Manta is already oh. cool because of his uh, oh. eyes and everything. But, oh. yeah, I mean, people are gonna think Black Manta is cool, too, because he's gonna look pretty cool. Even Down. though he is a bad guy. He's I like can't Boba wait for Fett. the uh, Black Manta uh, fight. I feel like he's like Boba Fett. He's, like, cool, but oh. a bad guy is super cool. Yes, I'm supplying my own sound effects because it's just weird to see Aquaman get punched in the face and just be like, MORE! MORE! <laughs> that doesn't hurt. Uh, oh, I just feel like after I, after I cut my own hand off, I just feel like nothing else would really feel any pain at that point. 
Just be like, oh man, it doesn't even matter anymore. No, nah, he's fine. Speaking of that, I think I got a little paper cut over here. Well, Aquaman has it a lot worse than you do, so I wouldn't go up to him and be like, Aquaman, I have a paper cut. He'd be like, yeah, I can't relate to that. Uh, my hook hand says. <laughs> yeah. Every time I think of that, I'm thinking of that Korean comedy. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my God. Just keep swimming, Amber. Just keep <laughs> my swimming. My mind is going the worst places. Shark! If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there's a Korean dramedy where somebody loses a hand. Yes, we've we've joked about it for years, Amber. <laughs> How dare you kick the king of Atlantis! I will show you no quarter. Actually, when I started, yeah, when I started uh, my cooking school, like that's what I was thinking about almost every day was that Korean dramedy where the guy loses a hand, and I was thinking, oh my gosh, that's gonna be me. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just not going to be paying attention, and yeah. All right. Ha! Ah, you are toast! And that's the end of the level. That was pretty quick. We've had some luck with the prisoners. Yay! The sharks. Works every time. Torture. Oh. <laughs> it appeared that their main goal will be the treasury. Mantis wants the riches of Atlantis for himself. Ooh. Once a pirate, always a pirate. That's true. Arthur, you must stop him. You cannot allow this man to continue to attack Atlantis or us. He will not. Of that you can be sure, my love. Because that's Mira. Mira better be playable. Oh, Arthur, you're so manly. You make the best decisions. Yes, I do. The Wrath of the Depths. X, X, A, X, A, A. Okay, so anyway, people, that is the end of the first episode of Aquaman's Outrageous Battle for Atlantis Adventure. Yay! That's what we're going to call this episode. So, Outrageous! In the comment section below, again, tell us your favorite Aquaman movie and what you liked about it and what you like about the character. And we'll be back tomorrow with the next installment of the Aquaman 2003 GameCube game. So we're going to keep swimming into more action tomorrow. Check out our Spider-Man series of the last DLC, The Silver Lining, and we will see you with more videos later today. God bless and happy gaming. See